Going into the Tokyo Olympic Games, Sifan Hassan made the incredibly brave decision to take part in all three middle distance events and go after the legendary Olympic treble. To do this, Sifan Hassan would have to win the 5,000, 10,000 and 1,500 metre events, meaning she would have to take part in six races in the space of just nine days. After this decision was announced, many people thought Hassan was crazy for taking on such an ambitious task. However, after Hassan fell over in the 1500m heat, got back up to win the heat and then won the 5000m final just 12 hours on from this, people really started to believe that she could do the impossible. But in order to do this, Hassan would first have to navigate her way through the 1500m final where she would come up against the amazing Faith Kip Yegon, who beat her by over 2 seconds just a month prior to this, while recording the 4th best 1500m time in history. Nobody knew who would come out on top in this encounter, but one thing was for sure, this race was going to be amazing. In an effort to try and run the finishing kick out of Faith Kipiegon, while being followed closely behind by Kipiegon and Laura Muir, who instantly realised the danger of letting Hassan get a gap early on. This resulted in a 400 meter split of 62.84 seconds, and to the surprise of nobody, Hassan didn't let up in the slightest as she continued to hold this very fast pace, putting pressure on the rest of the field and causing the race to get quite strung out. We have seen Hassan exhibit her incredible strength time and time again by being able to go out at a very fast pace and hold it for a considerable number of laps. Therefore, it was no surprise that Kipiegon and Muir didn't take any risks and got right on the shoulder of Hassan so they'd be ready if she happened to launch an attack. Through the 800m mark, the field split an extremely fast time of 2 minutes and 7 seconds, with Hassan still leading the race, and it was at this point when the medal contenders began to separate themselves from the rest of the pack, as well as both Laura Muir and Debu Stafford running their socks off in an effort to stay with the lead too. But as Kip Yegon began to move on to Hassan's shoulder, ready to pounce at any moment, you could sense that an intense battle to the finish line was going to commence at any moment. But there was simply no catching Kip Yegon from here, as she continued to open up a gap between her and the rest of the field, charging to the finish line in first place in a new Olympic record time of 3.53.11. And not far behind, Laura Muir continued to move away from Hassan, giving it her all to reach the finish, which resulted in a very well-deserved silver medal and a national record time of 3.54.50. And coming in third, Hassan did extremely well to walk away with the bronze medal and a very fast time of 3.55.86, which should not be underestimated. This race makes Faith Kipiegon only the third woman to retain an Olympic 1500 metre title and only the second woman ever to do so. While Laura Muir's time of 3.54.50 destroyed her previous British 1500 metre record by almost a second, showing that she is currently at an all time high in her career and I believe there is still more to come from the amazing Scott. And even though Sifan Hassan didn't come away with the gold medal on this occasion, she bounced back the following day to outkick the world record holder Guy Day to win the 10,000 metre race and cap off a legendary Olympic campaign which will go down in history. Well anyway, thank you for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, it would be great if you could like the video and subscribe to the channel.